Terrence Crawford name keeps coming up, and I know he's a lot smaller than you. Is that a fight that you would ever consider under any circumstance? You know, I always say that the fight make sense. Why not? But he's not in the plan. He's not, not in the plan. plan. No. Okay. okay. Is, Is there a, a re specific, specific reason for it? Is it because of his size or it won't do anything for you in terms of pushing you toward your goals? You know, like I say, it makes sense, maybe. I don't know. I don't know right now. I just going to enjoy this fight and please let me let me enjoy sure. this fight. And then and then you going to know what is what is next for sure. I want to make it very flipping clear. What did this man Canella say? Listen to that and don't worry about what other people want. Crawford want this. Charlo wants that. See, when you want something, right? Canelo's going to be like, well, you wait. You on my time. Canelo's on, you on my time. So, yes, Crawford, you want this. You want it. But you got to make Canelo want to need this happen. How do you make Canelo say, yo, I need this fight to happen. I'm getting pressure behind me. Too much pressure behind me. And you know what? I need this fight to happen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Crawford, you're doing everything that everybody else talking about. I want Canelo. I want Canelo. Everybody going to be on that um, best behavior for Canelo. If you get on that type of time, you lost already, baby. You lost already. You got to indirectly make this fight happen in certain ways. Now, this is the shit I, I, I can't stand. I can't stand with you right now, Crawford. And I, I'm just being honest. And all these fighters. I see Spence saying, oh, I'm not going to give Keith Thurman a chance because uh, he didn't give me a chance in the back. And, 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 oh, Crawford. Oh, fuck Keith Thurman. Uh, you know, you know. now I'm on top and he wants me. You know, I'm, yo, am I watching a barbaric sport or am I watching fucking ballet here? Am I fucking watching ballet or fucking a barbaric sport? The way I see it, yo, nigga. Back then, you ain't giving me the time of day. You know what? Get your ass in the ring. I'm going to give you... I'm going to bust you the fuck down for that reason. That's what I'm talking about. So now I'm hearing... One minute, I hear Crawford saying, I want Charlo. Right? And it's all right to change your mind. But this time, you change your mind and say, Ah, Charlo is not on my hit list. He's not on my radar now. He didn't He didn't perform. He was on his bicycle, right? His unibike, whatever bike he was on, 12-speed, 10-speed, he was on his bicycle, and he's not worth fighting. Now, this is where there's an issue going on here, man. There's an issue going on here. How do you get Canelo to need this fight happening with you, Crawford? Because right now, he said, you're not in the plans. Back in my last videos, I said, yo, Canelo's not worried about you. He has a three-fight deal with PBC. For how much? A hundred million dollars, right? This man is probably worth 200 million. So his plans is to get what he needs to do within the PBC and get out. And get out. He do not need you. But you want him to need this fight with you. Not you wanting to fight Charlo because all those other boxes were on that same time. You got to pull this nigga card, Canelo. That's what you got to do. And the way I say this is my opinion, like the fart, it's blown in the wind. This is my fucking opinion. So Crawford said, nah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't fucking want Charlo no more. And I'm like, okay, well, you don't want him. What do you want, Crawford? I want Canelo. Okay, you want him. But he's the man that's making the... Yo, I, I heard Canelo say this, yo. Somebody asked him, who's pound for foul number one? And and, and, and and the guy said, you know, you know, everybody know Terrence Crawford is number one. How do you feel not being pound for pound number one anymore? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm pound for pound number one. I'm still number one. And that's the way everybody's going to see it. Everybody to see that this man is pound, pound for pound, one for, even if he's not two time division, uh, he got two two losses on his record. I got Terrence Crawford of number one, pound for pound. That's it. He is number one in my books, right? 
But that's not how it's going because y'all keep playing this game with Canelo and letting Canelo get his way. <laughs> no, it ain't going to look like this, man. You can't be polite in a barbaric um, sport. You cannot be fucking polite in a barbaric sport. I'm not getting this shit, man, with this generation. So Canelo is saying, I'm pound for pound number one. But guess what puts the icing on the top, the cherry on the top? I am the face of boxing. These motherfuckers out here want him to be the face of boxing. Regardless, he got two losses. He's only undisputed one time. Yo, that's the way it is. So now, but it's a face thing. And he's been the face of boxing. He's the cash cow. And that's the way it is. Now you, how do you get this man? I mean, think about it. You got Errol Spence a certain way where he had his back against the wall. He's been a division so long. He had three belts. He's the one that said, why would I fight you when I can fight on Sean Porter? And then everybody's going to get mad at you for making this man wait so long to fight you where he could have fought you a long time ago. But then he had his back against the wall because he knew the only fight he had that was going to make him some money and he had to fight you was Terrence Crawford. And Errol Spence knew that. Now, how are we going to plot this plan out? But Charlo's the key. Charlo is the mother effing key, man. And I just didn't like when I hear Crawford say, oh, I don't need him anymore. So, okay, so you want you want Canelo. Tell me, my friend, if you don't get Canelo, who you fighting? You said facts, right? You have a right to change your mind now, Crawford. You have the right to change your mind. You said, oh, I think I got two or three fights more left. I'm not going to fight till 38 years old. You're 36 now, right? Oh, you're going to wait for Canelo? No, you're not. Because you want him? No, nah, you got to reverse the role. So I'm saying Charlo is one of the keys. Charlo is one of the keys. Charlo went up two divisions to fight Canelo. Canelo fought Charlo. And what happened? He couldn't scrape his plate. It's embarrassing. You, he went up. You couldn't beat Charlo. Right? You knocked him down. I ain't say knockout. Knocked him down. But it went to a, de a decision. Unanimous, unanimous decision. Understandable. But Crawford. Charlo's calling you out now because he wants big fights. Because he's either cashing out and that's it. But the problem is here that Crawford said, you're not on my hit list. No, no, no. no. You need to let this nigga be on your hit list. Okay? Keep that same energy. Because if you want Canelo, you're going to have to do a couple of things to me. A couple of things to get what we want, right? Because you want it. It's a want. But I'm telling you, you need to let that nigga need. Canelo need you. That's that's one. And I'm saying, put Charlo ass in the ring. You say there's nothing fighting Charlo. You're not going to get nothing fighting Charlo. Yes, you are. You're going to be a four-division champion. You're going to have three belts. Now, you have Mendoza. And 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 Tim DeZoo, and I, I don't know, I, I was reading somewhere that I think they made Tim DeZoo automatically the WBO champion, and he's defending his WBO champion against Mendoza. And I'm like, what is that was I'm not sure. I read something, I glimpsed at something. So I don't know if he's already the WBO champion after that bell ring and Canelo and Charlo fought and they just over they just gave it to him. I'm not sure. But regardless, they if he's defending the title, he got it. From WBO and he got to defend it from Mendoza. It's still up for grabs between one of them because one of them gonna lose, right? And so one of, either he's gonna keep the belt or he's gonna lose the belt. So Charlo ain't trying to hear that. Charlo don't want no Mendoza. He don't want. You see, now everybody wants big fights, right? When they win or when they lose, they want big fights, right? So you're not part of the plan with Canelo. You gotta understand. That's why I put that first there. You're not a plan for Canelo. You're not a plan. It's his plans. You got to disrupt his plans. Okay? Because he's making $100 million with or without you. And you're not one of the three fight deals. So how do we make this work? I keep saying, Charlo is the key. Charlo don't want Mendoza. He don't want that. He don't want this. He could be two-time on the speed at 154 if he decides to fight the winner of Mendoza. And, and hey, man. You're two-time undisputed. But he wants Crawford. Crawford, he called Crawford out the ring after the Canelo fight. So what are we doing? 
I'm saying fight Charlo. Yes. You know what Canelo going to say? You got my leftovers. You got my leftovers. Uh, you got, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you left a lot on the plate. You couldn't scrape all the fucking rubbish in the trash. But this is where Crawford comes in. This is how we work this shit. Crawford will come, fight Charlo, and, and, and scrape everything off his plate in six rounds. And then look at you and say, yo, Canelo, um, this man that went up, you're embarrassing. Yeah, don't get this nigga no respect. Don't get Canelo no fucking respect. Say, isn't it embarrassing, Canelo, that this man went up and you couldn't even finish him? You couldn't scrape the food off your motherfucking plate? You make this, you make the atmosphere. You put the pressure on Canelo instead of being fucking polite and nice. You know, you know, fuck that shit, man. This is a barbaric fucking sport. I don't know about this polite shit, man. All I know is, let's go, champ. All I know is Muhammad Ali taunting Sonny Liston. All I know is Mike Tyson saying, I'll eat your fucking kids. That's the fuck what I know, man. All this polite shit ain't going to get you shit. Yeah, you get you a payday. But why? Yo, Crawford, you on another level, man. You on another level. And I'm going to make a video later on. Maybe take tomorrow, showing you proof that Mayweather say skills pay the bills and weight doesn't matter. Yes, weight does matter at certain points, right? It's hard to go up and it's hard to go down. We understand that. But if you have skills and you got heart, and you're not just going in there for a paycheck, you're not worried about a zero. You said, yo, leave that for Mayweather. Mayweather's 50 and 0. If you want to be great, you take the risk like Manny Pacquiao and all these other brothers. We're not worried about a zero. Zero ain't making me a hero. So I'm, I'm going up. So if I go up, regardless, I will fight Canelo. But the best thing to do is get acclimated at 154. So you don't hear these excuses. Oh, oh, he, I had, Canelo say he had to go up three weight classes. No, no, he didn't. He did the same thing that fucking Charlo did. He went up two weight classes to fight you. What's the problem, Canelo? Why you can't fight him? Well, you know. No, no, I don't know. This man has two, undis he's two-time undisputed. Three-time lineal. Um, 18 title fights. The resume is there. So what's the problem? He's not three weights. He's two weights. So Charlo Pumit plays a part in this motherfucking problem, this issue. He plays a part. One minute you want him. See, this is the thing. Crawford, I ain't got no issues with you. But I remember when you wanted Charlo at 154 and S Spence. See, this thing, this is the thing. The contract. What, what's going on with this contract? Because if y'all not fighting in December, that fucking contract is voided, my dude. That shit is voided. So I know the PBC wants a two-fight or three-fight deal in order for you to dip your toe back into the PBC. So if that shit is voided, because... It was supposed to fight in December. That was in the contract. And the written contract was, if either party can't make 147, they got to notify sanction body, the other team, and put it in writing. What the fuck you want Croft to put Spence shit on writing that he can't make 147? So there wasn't nothing written from both parties. So now Earl Spence gets to fight strap season at 147. Whose fault is that? It was in the contract. So I'm saying to myself, this is my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Contract fucking voided. If you're going to fight next year, then you're going to fight in January. That's a whole new fucking contract. Of, yo, in that contract, I'll be like, listen, man. I want Charlo next. I'm going to do a two-fight deal with you. I'm going to fight Errol Spence. You still got the opportunity to fight him at 154. I would rather pick 154 because Canelo, I mean... Crawford, it's your fucking goal. You said you wanted to win a fucking Canelo and fucking Charlo. So if you want the fucking... You have to build yourself there to get there. Okay? Because this nigga don't want you on his time. Canelo don't want you on his time. You're not in the big club. You're not in it. Like George Coleman said. There's a big club, but you're not in it. And the club is this. He has a three-fight deal. $100 million and easy. Easy. He could either he just fought one fight, he got two fights left. So if they box him and say, listen, man, you can't because I thought Jamal said that he signed also to fight Canelo, right? But if they boxed him in and say, We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna make this a Mexican party right here. 
We're going to make this a Mexican party parade. Fuck these niggas, man. Right? We're going to make this a Mexican affair at the PBC. So, Marie Suleiman said, now, now you got to fight. You know, all of a sudden, we thought the reason why he did that so he could avoid um, Crawford. But it seems like now, if Marie Suleiman is not backing down on his word, if you're mandatory, you got a free fight deal that you can pick anybody who you want, Canelo. But all of a sudden, now he's his mandatory. You can't pick Charlo, Jamal, or you can't pick nobody else. You got to go to the mandatory. So if this is a Mexican affair, he already had a fight with Charlo. He could fight Jamal, or he could fight... Um, um, the Mexican monster Benavidez, and if he wins, he wins. Then he have a third fight. If he loses, he has a rematch with David Benavidez. That's your third fight. And if you lose, you're out. You got your hundred million. It is what it is. Benavidez is now the new face of boxing for the PBC and and and, and whoever wants to fight him. So what are we talking about? You're not in this fucking three fight deal, my dude. You're not. So if I was you, but I'm not, but I'm frustrated right now. And I don't know what your plan is. Maybe you have a master plan, Crawford. But my plan is get Charlo. Now, I don't know what's going with Spence. But if you got to fight Spence in January, fine. It is what it is. Beat this sucker down at 154. Make Make the reason why you want to fight him is to get accoladed. So now you have two fights at 154. And Canelo can't be like, well, you know, he's not really 154. He had 147. And, you know, he only came one. He only had one fight at 154. He just want a payday. I don't really need him. I don't really care for the fight. I got a hundred million in my bank already. What do I need this man for? You got to make him need you for, for a reason. You beat fucking Charlo ass. Within six rounds, six, seven, eight. As long as it don't go 12 rounds. And then you push it in his face and say, yo, those leftovers, you trying to tell me that um, I got, I beat. You couldn't do it. But guess what? I'm here, nigga. I'm here, Canelo. I'm here. Why don't you bring me up? And anytime you get get on, on this media, disrespect his ass. Disrespect his ass. I don't care what you say. You disrespect him. You make him want you. You make him want you. You say, I, I'm the real undisputed champion. He's a clown. Whatever you got to say. I mean, I don't want you to go be, go to below the belt and bring family and shit in it. But this dude, man, Canelo, he wants you to be this way coming into the fight. No, nigga, I'm amped the fuck up and I don't like you. I think you're fake and phony. This is what you got to say. This is what you got to say to get this nigga to get the fight, man. But you also got to make an example that, yo... I did this to Charlo. You didn't do it. But I did it. Make people think, damn, man, he, he fucked. Yo, he started putting um, things in people's mind. Like, yo, man, I wonder how that fight would be if, if this man fought so-and-so um, Canelo. And you know what he did to Charlo? And, yo, know, Charlo was trying to run, but he couldn't run from fucking Crawford. And you got to make this shit. Um, you have to make it a storyline. Okay, you got to build for this shit. Sorry to say this, man, because you are number one. Fucking show my eye. You are number one. But these niggas out here, Wakanda, I don't care if you're Spanish Wakanda, black, Asian Wakanda, these motherfuckers out here will always put that nigga first before you, even though he got two losses, even though he's only on the undisputed one. They don't want to see your face as the face of boxing. And all you got to do, Let's put that pressure on him. And don't put no polite pressure on, on, on fucking Canelo. Use this motherfucker Charlo. Accolade it. Get, be a four division champion. You get something out of it. Yeah. He's not on your hit list. But you get something out of it. Use him to get acclimated to 154. Use him to be a four time division champion. Right? And then after that, guess what? Hey, check this out, brother. Check this one out. Let me, let me, let me squeeze this one before I close it up. If you beat, because you got three fights left in you, Crawford. So you say, you can't, you ain't going past 38. But guess what? You get those three belts. You the win, you the man. So who the winner of Mendoza? And, and you still got an opportunity to be undisputed three times. And guess what? If you end up being three disputed under, under three times, holy ham sandwich. Oh my gosh. That's more pressure on Canelo. This man's three time undisputed at 154. Three-time lineal, right? 
19 defense, uh, 19 title fights. Um, it's, and, and, and you're the man. You have three time undisputed. But guess who's still undisputed at 168? Guess who's... Somebody could end up being four time undisputed. If the opportunity is there. If you make an opportunity to be there, you could be four time in this era, brother. So if Canelo beats Benavidez... Hey, he's still there. He's still undisputed. But brother, 154 is the goal where you need to go to me. This is my opinion. If I'm wrong, please, somebody in the comment, just let me know. Make your own road to make the destination to his road. Don't be waiting on him. Because he said you're not in the picture, brother. You're not in the game. You're not, you're not in the PBC game. It's either next year if you're going to fight Spence... Say, listen, this is going to be in the contract. I fight Spence. I want to get Charlo first. Ch Shouldn't be a problem because Charlo wants you. He wants the big fights. He 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 feels like a track star. He feel like if I could run away from Canelo, hey, it won't be so bad with fucking Crawford. Uh, so he's in there to just get a check. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this shit work for me, Crawford. Right? So we're going to dust him off real quick and show Canelo that, I got better skills than you. Look how look how you couldn't get this guy out and he had went up two divisions. Now I beat Spence at 154 in January or whatever the fuck going on with that fight. Then I beat Jamal. I beat I beat Charles Jamel. Right? Two fights at 154. Okay. You are probably undisputed, right? If you decide to stay there and take the fight of the winner of Mendoza and, 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 and Tim Dizuso, you three time undisputed. That's pressure. One, you beat up Charlo worse than, better than fucking Canelo. Two, you become three time undisputed. This is bringing up pressure. This is building up pressure bills, bust pipes. So this is what I'm trying to say, man. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have a master plan. But my plan is to say, look out for yourself. Don't wait for another motherfucking man. Don't wait for another motherfucking man. And don't let a mother motherfucker fucking tell you you must be polite if you want it you must be this way in order to get the fight no get grimy on this nigga man get grimy on canelo call him whatever you want to call him tell him he's a fucking chicken follow him in his interviews disrupt his interviews like boo boo andretti did but he did it with a fucking canelo shirt on fuck that nigga man fuck him go and disrupt every fucking interview you got Show him that he's a bitch ass nigga. So when you don't get the fight, they'll say he's the ducker. You're not. But at the same time, you build your career. You got your three term undisputed. You did what you had to do. Stop waiting on another fucking man. Because if you go down that lane, I can see you being polite. You ain't saying much. You're doing this. Nah, you don't need to have a Canelo. You gotta make this nigga. You gotta make this nigga shook, man. You gotta make him feel some way. You gotta pull. You gotta pull all those emotions that he try to. Make you not bring out of him. That's what you need to do. Yeah, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the line. I just kind of a little fucking fed up with all this bullshit about, oh, I don't want to fight Charlo no more. All right, so what are we going to do? Show me what you're going to do. Because if you got a better plan than this, then I will respect it. I will respect it, um, Crawford. But if you don't have a better plan than this, and you're just going to wait around for this nigga to say, well, I take you. What fucking reason he wants you for? You're not even part of the PBC. You're not even part of the three fight deal. It could have been Jamel, Jamal, and, and, and Benavidez, or the winner of Benavidez and 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 and, and Bubu Andre, Demetrius Andre. We don't know. But this man is already making a hundred million. You think that you're fucking part of the plan? No, you're not part of the plan. Make yourself part of the plan. So the, so the crowd be like, yo, man, this man's two, three time undisputed. Man, he beat Charlie up, Charlo up massively. Massively. He he worked that, yo. And I've been at the at, at the division two times because I fought Spence and I fought Jamel. So now, what is it that you can't fight me? Cause you got Jamel coming up two weight divisions. I've been at the division. I had two fights. Come on, man. The next contract I gotta come up, try to get Jamel in there. And I'm pretty sure that Jamel would take that offer. Um, when you beat Spence at 154, fight Jamel. Jamel ain't going to look for no rematch. He ain't going to look for no rematch. And, and 
listen, that's a whole nother video. But bro, get the shit together, man. Get the shit together. It's a right to change your mind, but don't 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 sign that man off, Charlo, because I think he plays a major part of you getting um, four divisions, three belts, have an opportunity to fight the winner at 154, end up being three time undisputed, and then at the end of the day, you might end up being four time. You have an opportunity to be four time undisputed in this era. Man, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the lines. Not what they say is not what they say. Stop waiting for another man, man. I don't care about Canelo what he's gonna do. Stop waiting for that man because he has a plan and you're not in it. Fuck out my face. Yeah, like, like, share, subscribe. Get the fuck out my face now.